No matter which part of the world you live in, the cost of living is always the rise. Prices of basic necessities that are essential for our daily lives keep increasing. Among such basic necessities, fuel is one of the most important ones. Transportation is literally what keeps our world running, without which we would not be able to function. Hence, fuel as a commodity will always have a massive impact on our lives. Fuel prices have skyrocketed like never before and show no signs of slowing down. People are either looking for alternatives or a way of cutting down fuel cost to avoid burning a hole in their pockets. Biodiesel seems to be the most promising and effective replacement for conventional fuel. Hello, my name is Arun Govind. I'm an energy engineer. I did my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. I did my post-graduation in Energy Technologies. I did my course in IIT Madras for in Business Analytics. And I'm right now starting my, uh, running my company, a startup company called Mirai Research Solutions. It's an energy-based company. It's like a research on energy company. Maybe like we are doing energy-based research. Focus on a major products like a biodiesel, a waste parasitic pyrolysis, algae photobioreactor, and fuel cells. Apart from that, we have a scientific division. We do like anaerobic chamber and also research consultations. Mirai Research Solution is basically a firm which will do like missionary. We are a we do like a research technology provider. We are a technology provider basically. We develop a technology and then we make a missionary for the technology and give to the customer. Where we develop a waste to energy waste to energy conversion technologies. For example, if you take a biodiesel, we prepare a biodiesel from used cooking oil. So we convert those waste oil, which is environmentally which is affecting. Normally biodiesel nothing but uh, alternative to the petroleum product, petroleum diesels. It's uh, one of our product. Apart from that, we are doing also uh, waste py plastic pyrolysis where we, we see in, uh, in our society where a lot of people throw plastic here and there. So that's caused a lot of pollutions to the environment. So what we do is, we see that as a bigger challenge, we need to be focused in India. So we, uh, we develop a technology where we convert the plastic waste into the fuel. Uh, we, we came across uh, in ground reality, we find uh, there is a lot of scope and uh, there are a lot of welcoming in the public and as well as uh, uh, new entrepreneurs we are developing as, as indirectly we are developing a lot of entrepreneurs and uh, we give the technology to them those entrepreneurs take our technology and they uh, prepare their own biodiesel they make biodiesel and then they give to the uh, people so this biodiesel will help in reducing the carbon footprint because it's a carbon neutral. Whatever plant absorbs the carbon, same carbon we are just uh, burning off. Second is it is like as as good as diesel. It's it not going to spoil the engines. Uh, approved is approved by government as well as in all various international sectors. The biodiesel has been approved as a fuel to be blended with the diesel and used for any vehicles. So it works like a lubricant. Normally, the oil has very good lubricating property, but a petroleum product, petroleum fuel doesn't have much more lubrication, so we are having an engine oil as a supplementary. Here uh, in biodiesel, it has a natural lubricating property where uh, the engine oil, the requirement, the wear and tear of the engine is reduced and uh, replacement of engine oil can be extended. Lifetime of engine oil replacement can be extended. Maybe like we are using like a five, for every 5,000 liters, 5,000 kilometers, if the vehicle is replaced with the oil, engine oil, this can be extended up to 8,000 kilometers, 6,000 to 8,000 kilometers. And also it has a cleaning property where it cleans up the carbon buildup inside the engines. For government side, side, we having a plenty of opportunities for uh, entrepreneurs. Not particularly for biodiesel industry. For any sector, government for an entrepreneur, there are a lot of opportunities available. Uh, here in biodiesel industry, for missionary, they are provided with the loans. Loans are provided by the government and subsidy also provided in various schemes based on how uh, eligibility of the customer, maybe like a client who is going to apply based on his qualification, based on his uh, uh, collateral, what he's providing, what is experience in this field, uh, based on training he took in biodiesel industries. Coming to a certification licensing, basically we need around the, maybe like a pollution control board. We are going to a, a energy waste management sector. So it can, it can produce a lot of uh, maybe like a pollution, right? We are handling with a waste. So we need to get up uh, permission from a pollution control board. 
and we are recommend it is recommended to keep the company industrial side area industrial area it doesn't require much manpower it operated uh, with two or three manpower is enough for this and uh, so there is no factory regist registration required for this and if it is in large scale we require a factory registration rto rto clearance if you are transporting a uh, fuel to one place to another they need a rto clearance if your company is in highway they need a highway clearance but it is applicable to each and every area it's not applicable to everyone uh, and uh, you uh, police fire fire and safety is required fire and safety license and the gst msme registration all these are primarily required and which is not all the license are required it applicable to each and every person if your company is not in highway highway uh, uh, maybe like clearance not required as a technology what we do is we co we collect uh, used cooking oil we first we filter them with a normal filtering process and then we used a catalyst is alcohol and uh, alkaline based catalyst and then we used to react with the oil technically we call as a trans esterification along with the catalyst oil will be converted into a biodiesel and a byproduct as a glycerol we have a two commodity here is a crude glycerol and crude biodiesel and crude uh, glycerol itself have a market value for a biodiesel sector there is not much marketing uh, funds required because it is like a daily commodity commodity where the people will come and buy to you if it's, it's like a high demand products normally the biodiesel sector is assumed to be a large scale company where you need a cross and cross of investment to begin with but what we did is we just made the pro uh, technology very simple and then affordable to the any public the raw material can be uh, purchased through the ruko from aggregators uh, if you see a lot of maybe like a food delivery industry also enroll themselves as aggregator where we can contact them and get a proper approval from the as a biodiesel manufacturer and uh, we can get our raw material from the aggregators or you can directly collect the oil where you get something like uh, even lesser cost and if some people may think i don't want to work with the used cooking oil a such kind of situation you can go for animal fat uh, maybe like a chicken fat or tallow oil it it is uh, most basically it is imported but for uh, tallow alone you need a extra process called esterification biodiesel manufacturer can have a maybe like a, many many people are concerned about oh, how can we set up a biodiesel petrol bunks where biodiesel manufacturer once you have once you have a biodiesel in your hand can very well set up a biodiesel petrol bunks will can be started with the approval of district collectors and necessary peso license whatever applicable for them and this peso license exposure license is mandatory for any petrol bunks in india and once approved you can very well set up a biodiesel bunk in india once you become biodiesel manufacturer once you have a business model with a biodiesel petrol bunks you can also get let out your franchise where you can just give the franchise opportunity to so other entrepreneurs with a brand of yours it's very uh, it will be like a future scope for engineering students uh, who is very interested in energy sector can who is very willing to learn the technology welcome and we are uh, we are providing a training necessary training and internships and implant training also provided for by us where they can learn a lot of things on biodiesel how the biodiesel is manufactured this creates a lot of opportunity for the students to get placed in uh, biodiesel industries as well as any petroleum or fuel based industries for aspiring entrepreneurs looking for business sector with high potential for growth the biodiesel industry has a lot to offer